Welcome to TE Connectivity's on-demand webinar on the IntraSense, a micro pressure sensor for minimally invasive procedures. Our speakers will give you an in-depth look at the IntraSense and its innovative design. Let's meet today's speakers. First, we have Justin Gaynor, Senior Product Manager for Sensors. Justin joined TE Connectivity in 2019 with the acquisition of Silicon Microstructures, where he spent 10 years working on catheter pressure sensors and has led the development of the IntraSense Invasive Pressure Sensor product line since its inception. Next, we have Pete Smith, Product Knowledge and Training Manager for Sensors. Pete has 49 years of experience in the design, manufacture, and sales of consumer and industrial sensor products. Pete has spent the last 35 years at TE working exclusively in the sensor technology space. With that, I will now hand it over to our speakers. Thanks, Taryn. Hello, everyone. This is Pete. To get started, we'd like to talk for a couple minutes about our TE Sensors business unit. TE Connectivity has been a global powerhouse in the connector industry for many years. They decided to get into the sensors business a little over six years ago with the acquisition of measurement specialties. That acquisition brought a broad array of sensor technologies to TE connectivity that included products to measure pressure, temperature, force, humidity, position, and even fluid properties. Since then, we've added acquisitions that have expanded our portfolio for pressure, and temperature sensor products. Two additional acquisitions have added speed and optical sensors. The TE sensor portfolio is made up of high performance sensors that provide accuracy, stability, and reliability in the harshest of environments. Because of our broad portfolio, we serve a large variety of markets and applications, from aerospace to smart factory, energy, transportation, and medical. Today, we want to show you a new device, our IntraSense Microinvasive Pressure Sensor. This product is unique due to its extremely small size and ease of integration into medical products used today for minimally invasive surgery. With that, I'll hand this over to Justin, who is going to talk about the advantages and benefits of this new and innovative pressure sensor product. Justin? Thanks, Pete. Before we dive in, a little bit of history. We've been building and supplying catheter tip pressure sensors for over 20 years. Throughout this time, we've had one simple goal, make monitoring of pressure inside the body easier, more accurate, and more convenient. IntraSense, which uses the third generation of our sensor, is the latest step on that journey. With IntraSense, we've made big strides in simplifying device assembly even further. There's a number of advantages IntraSense brings to the customer, and today we're going to focus on three of them. Size, flexibility, and ease of use. Let's start with size. We realized early on that in order to fit into all devices, we need to make our sensor as small as possible. Even devices that traditionally don't need such a small sensor can benefit because it leaves more room in your device for other features or, if you like, to shrink. If you're injecting therapy through a microcatheter, for example, you may have room for a bigger sensor but with a smaller sensor, you can increase the size of the delivery lumen and increase the speed at which therapy is delivered, which speeds up the procedure. We've all heard that time is money, but in this sense, size is money too. Obviously, a device that can measure pressure within fine vessels has to do two things. It has to fit inside the vessel and it has to contain a pressure sensor. But it turns out the problem is even more tricky than that. In most cases, you want to be able to measure pressure without significantly impeding flow through the vessel. If the device obstructs flow, it can impact the accuracy of the measurement. So smaller is almost always better. Now let's look at how you mount a sensor inside a medical device. 
You won't want to have restrictions on where the sensor will be mounted. You might want it out at the very tip, but in some cases, maybe you don't. Device design may dictate that the cable can't move in a straight line from one end of the device to the other and may have to weave and dodge a little. Some sensors, such as optical fibers, are somewhat limited in this regard. IntraSense isn't. Finally, let's get back to respecting the time of healthcare professionals. The majority of invasive pressure measurements taken today use external sensors. These are inexpensive and work, more or less. To do such a measurement, you insert a thin tube into the patient. The tube's filled with fluid. You get all the bubbles out of it. Then you connect that to a sensor, and then you connect that to a saline bag, and then you check everything out and run an auto zero. This whole process usually takes 10 to 15 minutes. Catheter tip sensors like IntraSense means that you plug the device into a monitor and that's it. Especially in procedures like biopsies, where the actual procedure time is only a couple of minutes, the added time burden of setting up a fluid line just doesn't make sense. In the next slides, we'll talk about these advantages in detail, starting with size. IntraSense consists of, at minimum, a silicon-based pressure sensor, a three-stranded cable, and encapsulation over the cable to sensor junction. Optionally, you can also have a PCB on the proximal side. This performs temperature compensation and some other features that Pete's going to tell you about later. Starting with the sensor, five of these sensors could rest comfortably inside a square millimeter. These sensors are small. They're 750 microns long, 220 microns wide, and 75 microns thick. When you connect the wires on top and add the encapsulant, the total thickness is going to be about 170 microns. All in all, this means they can sit inside, they can be mounted inside a one French hypo tube. The wires connected to the sensor are AWG 48 gauge. You can get them in any length you need between 60 and 300 centimeters. The optional PCB calibration board is 21 by 15 centimeters. To tell you more about the advantages of IntraSense versus external sensors, I'm going to turn it back over to Pete. Pete? Historically, the most common approach to monitoring pressure inside a patient has been to insert a fluid line to the location where blood pressure measurements are desired. A pressure sensor at the other end of the line, external to the patient, then measures the actual pressure. The setup procedure for this requires several steps to ensure proper operation. There can be no kinks or bubbles in the line. They must be removed. The external sensor must be placed at the same level as the point where pressure is being measured to ensure accuracy. Because this alignment is critical, any patient motion or position changes without moving the sensor can introduce errors in the readings. Because of all these steps, setup of a fluid line can take 10 to 15 minutes. Using a catheter or guide wire with our sensor at the tip avoids all of these challenges. It helps provide more accurate placement in a shorter time if the patient is moved or position is changed, the accuracy of the reading is not affected. The result is better and more timely patient data for the medical team. TE sensor engineers have developed a design that makes it easy to integrate the IntraSense into a catheter, guide wire, endoscope, or biopsy needle. All IntraSense parts come with a three-wire cable already attached. There's no need to try attaching the wires on your own. We encapsulate the lead attach area with a biocompatible epoxy that protects the sensor for up to 24 hours of immersion. The sensor is designed so there are no exposed metal surfaces that are connected to any part of the electrical circuit. This ensures patient safety. And of course, the accessory test calibration PC boards make connection to the sensor very easy. 
Since all silicon-based electronics can be affected by ambient light, we offer a version of the sensor with a light shield over the silicon sensing area. This feature allows the sensor to operate accurately in lighted endoscope applications. Also notice in the picture that the sensing surface is on the top side of the sensor, not at the end surface. This design allows the sensor to be used at the tip of a catheter or at any location along its length. The picture shows a cutaway view of a typical catheter tip with the IntraSense installed. Note that the pressure sensitive surface of the sensor is exposed directly to the blood and no coupling gels are required. Once installed, the sensor, along with the catheter, can be sterilized using ethylene oxide, which is sometimes referred to as ETO. One optional configuration of the sensor includes a calibration and compensation PC board attached to the proximal end of the leads. The addition of this board provides signal amplification, digitization, temperature compensation, noise filtering, and power supply stabilization. This board provides two output signals, an analog voltage and a 16-bit I2C digital signal that represents the clinical pressure measured over the full range of minus 300 millimeters of mercury up to 500 millimeters of mercury. Both analog and digital signals are available simultaneously. In addition, there are diagnostic features in the circuitry that can detect and report faults in the wiring, connections, or in the sensor element itself. We'd like to now cover some specific application areas for the IntraSense. Catheters for diagnostic and therapeutic use, as well as integration into disposable endoscopes and ablation equipment. In diagnostic catheters, these devices are minimally invasive tools used to navigate human anatomy, make critical internal measurements, and return that information to the medical team. The additional data helps the team deliver more precise and effective therapies. The small size of IntraSense enables smaller catheter geometries, which provide access to anatomical areas not available before now. IntraSense undergoes rigorous testing at our factory to ensure reliable performance during exploratory procedures. It's designed to withstand human body fluids, which are arguably some of the most corrosive known. For therapeutic catheters, again, the small size of IntraSense is an advantage. These catheters are designed to deliver corrective and healing therapies to an area within the body. It means there are other tools in the catheter tip that require some space, and IntraSense gives them the extra space. Some examples are catheters for thermo and cryoablation, as well as delivery of drug and cell therapies. These delivery procedures can result in very high local injection pressures. IntraSense can handle it. In addition, the fine wires that connect to the IntraSense also provide extraordinary flexibility to allow these catheters to navigate successfully around very small radii of curvature. In disposable endoscopes, IntraSense provides more data to help the surgical team understand the patient's medical condition and detect any problems that may occur during the exploratory work. IntraSense is designed for single use, which aligns well with some of the newer endoscope products. The light shielded version of our sensor is ideal for scopes that have illumination at the tip. Our sensor is also designed to be resistant to the body fluid, such as blood, urine, and others. IntraSense is ideal for ablation catheters, whether they be thermo, cryo, radio frequency, or ultrasonic based. The sensor uses a half bridge electrical design that provides common mode rejection and improved immunity to EMI, RFI, acoustic, and mechanical noises. Some ablation therapies have wide temperature excursions that range from near cryogenic levels up to temperatures that actually can cook tissue. 
Our sensor survives these extreme conditions with no problems. There are a variety of other applications where IntraSense can be used. The small size of our sensor allows it to penetrate further into various body systems to collect more meaningful data. For cardiovascular applications, the sensor can be used to monitor blood pressure all the way from the heart to the small veins and arteries in the extremities. Abnormal pressure readings can help reveal arterial occlusions and lesions and also detect hypotension during surgical procedures where anesthesia is used. Intrasense can be used to measure intracranial and spinal fluid pressure when diagnosing nervous system problems and injuries. It could also be used to help diagnose problems in the digestive tract and lungs. The sensor can also be used to help deal with kidney stones. Blockages and overpressure in the kidneys can cause serious damage and must be detected early. Monitoring local blood pressure is also part of endometrial ablation used to treat reproductive ailments. Careful monitoring local blood pressure is also an important part of embolization where obstructions are deliberately placed in small arteries to starve tumors of oxygen so that they die. To efficiently manufacture high quality product, TE has developed a unique process that uses state-of-the-art machinery and techniques. Manufacturing begins by creating the MEMS sensor die using our own in-house wafer fab. The wires are attached to each die using precision robotics. This assures a consistent and reliable connection with very low failure rates. Encapsulant is added and each sensor is then pressure tested in an automated saline bath process. TE controls these steps from beginning to end, which ensures very high quality and consistency of the finished product. We've also created evaluation and development kits that include an Arduino development platform with an interface PC board. Five InterSense sensors with calibration PC boards already attached are also part of the kit. It's a very short time from out of the box to a working demo system on your lab bench. In summary, we want to emphasize the three big advantages of our IntraSense pressure sensor. First, it's incredibly small, which allows medical professionals to take blood pressure readings in areas they were unable to reach before now. Second, we supply the sensor with wires already attached and interface PC board accessories available. This streamlines your job of evaluating and designing the sensor into your application. Third, the sensor design offers simplicity with a lot of flexibility in how it's applied to a catheter, endoscope, biopsy needle, or guide wire. And finally, the sensor has been designed to be another example of a TE product capable of high performance and reliable operation in the harshest of environments. This concludes our presentation. Taryn, back to you. That concludes this on-demand webinar. To learn more about the IntraSense, please visit te.com. Thank you.